a device. You can go into class tomorrow and you can do this with your kids. And it gives it the wow factor. It's turning your posters on the wall in the back of your class into something that looks like a Harry Potter newspaper. So, and it does work. First thing I get the kids to do then, using this is about workflow as well, because workflow is really, really important when you're dealing with iPads, because it's not about using one app in a lesson or one program. You're using a lot of different things, so we do talk about workflow. So the first thing I get them to do then is take a photograph or maybe get something off the internet if they're going to use an image from there instead, because you need an image as your trigger for what you're making. Then we open up Orasma. I can show you how this works in a minute, because I have a little video clip. Does the video clip work? Maybe not. If it's on the camera roll, it's on. No, it's not. Okay, so then I get them, once they've got their trigger picture, to open up Orasma. Really simple, it's a free app, which is what I like. Also, they are great for engaging with educators. So if you're on Twitter, tweet them, they will get back to you. They're really, really good, and they will support you and give you advice when you need it. Then I go and get them to make their little film. Now, because I teach languages, this is great for me, because I don't like putting work up at the back of the class that's just got a bit of written French. I need to get them speaking. So this has been brilliant, because I now have evidence that my kids are speaking as well as writing in French sometimes at a higher level as well. So I get them to do their little bit of recording, give it a name. Okay, I get them to make a poster using the Pages app. Again, nice and simple. Um, the poster's really important. It needs to have the same image as they are using for Orvasma because that's the trigger. So the poster needs to have the same image. Then we go back to Orvasma. It sounds difficult, but honestly, my bottom set year seven do this absolutely fine. It just, you can do it in a, under an hour's lesson. Um, the important bit here is about QR codes. Now, we all know that QR codes are being used in schools for various different things. If you are using augmented reality, you want to share that. Now, you're not going to want to pay to make that public like Tottenham have done with their football shirts because they do have augmented reality football shirts. The next time you see a Tottenham player, zoom in because it's quite cool. Or just go to JJB Sport and I've scattered their shirt in there. So what we do, when we've made our Erasmus, you want to share it, so you get given a link to share it. So what I do is I get my pupils to cut and paste that link into a QR code maker. They make a QR code, they save the image, they go back to their poster, which has their trigger image and has their writing, and they embed this in there. Honestly, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Um, so they pop all of that together, then we print it out. And then what we have at the end of it, in the classroom, is a poster with... A trigger image, it may be their face, it may be some little bit of clip art that they've got off the internet. They have their piece of writing and then when they take their iPads up there they can scan the QR code and that will give them the link and then they can actually watch themselves speaking. It also means that because all of that's there, if you print their poster off they can take their poster home and then show their family that they have done this piece of writing. Um, if I can't get onto YouTube, I can't, can I try YouTube? Yeah, can we just flip over back to the laptop please? Mark's got my resources. On the end of the resources is that PowerPoint or Keynote. I gave it to you as PowerPoint, didn't I? So there's a PowerPoint there, so you can use that with your classes. There is an embedded clip at the end of it, which is a demonstration of how Erasmus works, which really you want to see because you'd like to see a talking poster. But believe me, if you go through those stages, a bottom set year seven can get it. I know primary schools are using it as well to get the kids active and speaking, doing things like history on it as well, so it's really worth trying it out. Thank you very much, Kelly. Thank you.